Hello everybody, Andrea here. So it's the end of the year, fast approaching, I know. It is now time to review your portfolio. So you might be wondering, how do I do this exactly? So you would first send me your full portfolio, either by saving it as a PDF file, or if you like, I can have temporary access into your um, CDHO login. So you would create a temporary password for me. So send me an email with your CDHO number and my temporary password, but also make sure to let me know your different security questions. So there's three of them. They might ask me either one. So I need to know what question it is and the answer to allow me access. So portfolio reviews do typically take two weeks, depending on how many I get at a time. So if I'm getting 10 a day, it's going to take me two weeks to go through yours. Okay, so get it in as soon as possible. Um, also, I don't know, usually it takes less than two weeks, but it truly does depend on somebody's portfolio. If you have 10 goals a year for me to look at, it's going to take me longer. So don't give me 10 goals and the CDHO isn't going to like that either. I will likely go through the first three and just kind of let you know what I think. So I don't change anything with your portfolio. So don't worry, I don't change a thing. But what I do is I go through everything with a fine tooth comb. It takes time. And then I write you up a full I like to call it a suggestions report in a Word document. So I will outline per year which goal I'm talking about, what I like about it, what I don't like about it and why, and what I might suggest changing so that you don't get that phone call or a fail basically by the CDHO. So I talked to you guys also about how to prepare for that phone call. They don't always call you if they don't like something, they just might call you to clarify on something. So I do teach you guys that as well. But the goal of me looking at your portfolio is so you know you're on the right track. So you can either send it to me when you're halfway through or send it to me when you're completely done. That's totally up to you. I've never seen a portfolio yet where I basically said this is horrible do it again never but I have offered a lot of suggestions in the past where I will tell you if you don't change this you will likely get a call from the CDHO and possibly even even an on-site visit I have seen things before where are they're just downright wrong um, just as an example, you know, somebody might be sterilizing their high volume suctions when we all know those are disposable unless they're stainless steel, but the CDHO doesn't like those so that might warrant a phone call. So I kind of tell you that as well. Um, I walk you through things that I feel need help with or I will tell you which goals are excellent and keep it up. So that's what I do. So it's up to you if you wanna send it to me through a PDF or give me temporary access, but send me an email. So if you're in the portfolio workshop, which I'll leave the link for you on the bottom if you don't have it yet, um, you get comp um, complimentary um, full portfolio review. So the, port um, the portfolio review comes with that course. If you're watching the video and saying, I'm not in your course, I'm pretty much done the portfolio. I don't feel like I need your course to help me with that, but I just want you to look at it to make sure I'm doing okay. That's another link, which is the portfolio um, review only. So I will leave the link for you guys there as, as well. Now, if you're taking the quality assurance exam instead of the portfolio, I can look at your practice profile for you if you're really not sure. Because if you take the quality assurance exam, you don't have to submit your portfolio as well, but you do need to submit your practice profile. So that needs to be done. If you need help with that, you guys, I can help you. So I will leave the link for you guys there too. So I hope this helped. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you guys in the next one.